my name is Reza Hojab and this is my 1989 Volkswagen Golf Cabrio. Um, I've owned the car for about four years now, pretty much from day one started working on the car. Um, met a really good friend through, through this car um, and then together we pretty much built the whole thing. When I first got the car, all my friends made fun of it because it was triple white, super girly. Now, hopefully it doesn't look as curly because it wasn't my first choice. Like clean Mark 1s in Canada are pretty hard to come by. Um, this one was relatively clean. So when I picked it up, I was stoked on it. It wasn't my first choice, but I wanted to get back into a Mark 1 really bad. So even though it was a convertible and I did get lots of stick for it, I'm stoked on it. We started with the engine, uh, ripped, it, ripped one out of a, a Jetta. We stripped it down, um, honed the block, um, dropped in JE pistons, dropped the compression ratio to I think it's about a nine. And then we have uh, 270 cam in it, heavy duty valve springs. Um, pretty much the, the car runs 18 PSI, no problem. For the ignition, it's MSD. Um, I have a 6AL and then a boost timing master, which, which retards the boost. Um, as soon as it hits, it starts retarding that boost. Um, I can control it from, from my dash. The biggest thing about the engine, it's on bike carbs. There's no management. We tune the car pretty much with a screwdriver. There, there is no like computer, there's no laptop. It's just me and Pascal, we go out, we do a hit, we, we tune the car, um, we get a reading from the air fuel gauge in the dash, and then pretty much we, we tune the car like that. The turbo I'm running is a uh, T3, T4, and it's a uh, 50, 63. Um, it's a little bit big for the engine right now. It does spool a little bit late, um, but once it once it starts spooling, it, making power, the 18 PSI comes on pretty quick and it starts pulling hard. The valve cover came from a Seat Ibiza GTI. I actually got it sent from the UK back home. Um, my dad sent it in the mail, got it here, stripped it down, um, super stoked on it. It's, it's really individual uh, piece that you don't see often, not here anyway in Canada. So there are a few things on the car that aren't, aren't common here. And that's one of the little things that I'm pretty stoked on. It has a pretty uh, unique intercooling system. It's actually separate from the car's cooling system. I have a ice tank in the back. So if we did want to drag race, if that ever happened, um, we could just drop ice in the tank and then it has its own pump, pumps cool water throughout the intercooler, keeps the space in the front very small um, and pretty clean looking. I just wanted to keep the clean European look. Don't go too crazy, nothing too flashy, just not really a sleeper, but you wouldn't know it's as quick as it is if you saw it, it you know, um, it's, it's definitely quicker than it looks. For the wheels, I'm running BBS RMs, um, two-piece, originally from a Mark II GTI. Um, I split them. They originally six and a half wide, and now they're eight and a half in the back and uh, seven and a half in the front. Painted the faces uh, Porsche Macadamia Brown, which um, I wanted to match with the interior. The interior is brown and cream as well. Put a new roof on it. It, it was originally a triple white cabbie, so white roof white seats and then white wheels um, it was a little bit too white for me so i wanted to break that up with a little bit of color here and there but like i said keep it really clean and um it, like super euro looking so the suspension it, it's static i'm running coilovers um originally i did wanted to get it on air and i'm still going to put it on air but right now it, it drives really well on the coils they're wound nearly all the way down it doesn't rub anywhere. The pan is really close as all Mark 1s. They, their pans are like super low to the ground. This one has a skid plate. It's about quarter inch thick. Any bump hits the skid plate, good to go. I don't know how, to, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> watch Pascal's video. <laughs> so you're watching my video, click on the link below and watch Pascal's video. <laughs>